Hey guys, it's Brie and I'm back with another real video. In today's video, I'm gonna do a part two of one of my more popular videos on my channel about NCLEX, the NCLEX bullet journal study plan. I realized that I talked through how I made my template, but I didn't tell you guys how I studied, how you can make your own. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna talk about UWorld, Hearst, Mark Lamech videos, day by day how I made my study plan and how you guys can make your own bullet journal template. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. I know a ton of you guys have graduated this past week. Congratulations on graduating. That is such a huge accomplishment. I was watching my video back that I did last time and realized that I didn't really go through how I actually studied. During nursing school, my school personally made us buy Hearst Review. So that was not a decision that I made. It was a decision my school made and we all had to buy it. So we bought Hearst and we all went through the live review at the beginning of our last semester of school. I would actually recommend it. I think it was a good review process. If you have time, that's an option for you during the school year, I would say go ahead and do it. I think it helped me on my HESIs at the end of the school year and I think it just helped me all around to just put everything together from nursing school. So I would definitely recommend the Hearst Live Review course. We did that during the school year, so that was kind of my first thing that I did to prepare for NCLEX. And then after we graduated, we had to get our ATT and you know our affidavit of graduation all of that had to be submitted i have a video on how to actually sign up for the nclex here if you guys haven't seen it basically whenever i got my att i wasted no time i know a bunch of people scheduled their nclex for like pretty soon after they got their affidavit like they didn't want much time to study but i wanted to give myself a while but not too long so I had been told that the best way to do it is like within a month you need to be taking your test. So I gave myself three weeks to study. So I got my ATT on May 29th of 2019, last year. And I, that's the day that I scheduled my NCLEX and made this little study plan. The first thing I did was I started going over Hearst questions. So. If you see on my little spread here, my first little sub spread that I have up at the top is number of questions and I just wrote it out in a calendar form and I put the number of questions that I did every single day. I would say this is like a little question counter. So that's what I did up here. I did a time tracker. So every day I put how long I studied and just made like a purple line across to to, so I could have a visual of how much I'm studying. Um, and then over here, I just did the different topics and which day I was reviewing them. So those are the three kind of templates or spreads that I use. So let me talk about some other bullet journal template ideas that I found. Somebody did like this what to review wheel where they put a big circle and you know it has all the different topics that they know that they need to review for themselves and then they'll put like specific things that they struggle with outside of the circle like up here it says cystic fibrosis and tetralogy of below for peds so you would just keep going and do that for all of them that you need to study or you know maybe once you review you would put the things that you need to like go over like one more time or something like that. I thought that was pretty cool. But this one is a future study log. So this is like when you plan to practice NCLEX questions and when to take full length exams. So kind of like what I did with my question counter or even with my review content thing, but it's just, you would just do like two different colors and highlight on different days what you're gonna do. So like maybe your pink highlighter is for when you're gonna do for 100 questions. So then you would do pink highlighter on a certain day. Maybe the next day you use a yellow highlighter and the highlighter, yellow highlighter means um, do 50 questions. 
And then maybe you have an orange highlighter, do an orange highlight and say, I'm gonna do a practice test this day, which like I said, you guys, I didn't really do any practice tests. I just did a long amount of questions <laughs> and reviewed, you know, so. And then here's the study time tracker like I showed you guys on mine. Um, basically, this is exactly what I did. And you guys, I didn't even like look up any of this stuff when I did it. I was just, this is just how I plan and this is, I just need to visualize what I'm doing and I needed to make it interactive and fun instead of just writing down like, I studied 10 minutes today, you know? And instead of just doing that, I knew that I wanted to do something in my bullet journal and make it like, you know, colorful and something that I would keep doing every single day and be excited to like have finished whenever it was done. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of those other little templates that you can do to study. So I would call this the study time tracker down here. I would call this the question tracker up here. So basically a calendar, put the amount of questions. This is just like a, graph with how much time you studied and then over here I just have the different subjects and I have a little calendar where I put in the color based on what I studied that day so there is that and then I just wanted to answer a couple of questions here at the end I always get a ton of questions about NCLEX and I just wanted to answer them all in one place so here we go when should I start to prepare for NCLEX Personally, I started to prepare right after, well, a week after graduation, but you could also say that I prepared at the beginning of the semester by watching the Hearst live review. And then I personally also just feel like all of nursing school is preparing you. But I know what you're asking, when should you start like buying study materials? And I would say give yourself a little bit of time after graduation to just celebrate, but as soon as you can afterwards, I would get started. Like I said, I waited about a week before I bought you world and started doing questions. So that would be my, my recommendation about a week after graduation. <laughs> so about now for you guys that just graduated, I think this would be about your week mark whenever you're seeing this video. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and buy you you world because you world was like my number one thing that I would recommend. Everyone should get UWorld. It literally prepares you for the test because it looks just like the test. Like literally the screen on, on UWorld is the same screen that you'll get when you take NCLEX. At least it was for me a year ago. And I freaking loved it because I felt almost no anxiety because I had been taking almost 100 questions every single day for the last almost month. And I got to NCLEX and was just going, you know? because I had 21 days, if you remember, I had three weeks. 21 days, 100 questions a day, so that I could finish the test bank. That's what I had heard a lot of people were doing, finish the test bank, and you'll have all the information you need, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I wanted to do, that was part of my plan. So that's why I wrote out the question calendar and the number of questions. And I feel like it kept me on track, I feel like it kept me on a set schedule, even though some days I did less number two when should you sign up to test you should sign up as soon as you get your att and are able to once again i will link that video where i show you guys how to sign up but as soon as you can i would um like i said you have to get a couple of papers before a couple of things sent in before you can but i would say as soon as possible schedule yourself um I scheduled myself to test about a month after graduation. So I had three weeks after I started preparing. How do you sign up to test? Once again, I linked the video on how you sign up to test. You will also probably hear this from your professors whenever the time comes. So don't be too stressed about it. But there's a couple of things that your school will send to the board. There's a couple of things that you need to send. And once they get everything, then you're able to sign up to test. So did you write down rationales? I didn't write down rationales. I'm, this is a UWorld question. 
because like I said, those rationales are super important. Um, I would say that once you read the rationale, it kind of just fits, at least it did for me. You know, you just kind of, especially when you get a question wrong and then they show you why you were wrong, that always just kind of sticks with me. Like, okay, I'm not gonna make that mistake again because that makes sense, you know? That rationale made sense, so I'm probably not gonna have to make that mistake again because I remember that rationale now, so. That's what I would say. I would say you don't really have to. I didn't. I would just make sure to read them and understand them. If you don't understand it, then I would do some more research on it. But writing them down doesn't really seem helpful to me. I don't know. Because I knew I wasn't going to go back over it. So, because um, I'm doing questions every day, new questions, you know. So, if I wait all the way, yeah, I just knew I wasn't going to read them again. <laughs> How long should I study? This is very case by case. Um, for me, I knew I needed to study a good amount. I wouldn't say a lot. But I knew I needed to study a good amount. That's why I gave myself three weeks to study. And I studied about an average of four hours every day. And I mean, you're out of school. You gave yourself a week to celebrate. You know, it's summertime most for most of you that graduated just now. So I would just say treat it like a job. It's going to help you get a job in the future. So, I mean... Four to eight hours a day, I would say, is a good amount. I mean, there are days when I only studied an hour, but I would say 95% of the days, I studied more than three hours a day. And this includes videos. You know, switch it up so that it doesn't get boring. Do videos, do audios, read online. You know, if you have a book that you can read, read a book do questions. Questions counts as studying as long as you're reading the rationales and understanding what you're answering. The last question is, should I do UWorld system by system? I would not recommend doing it system by system. I just feel like for what it is, NCLEX is very random. So you need to know that any question can be thrown at you at any time. So if you're doing questions, I feel like they should be randomized. You, you're not gonna get to pick what topic you get at, at NCLEX. So it doesn't help you to put everything all together, if that makes sense. So for me, what I did is I just selected all of them and did questions. You're not gonna have that option on the NCLEX. It's all gonna be randomized. So I would just say to randomize it. I can say that the days that I reviewed content, I went through and did a few questions based on that content. If you're doing it after you study a certain topic and you want to kind of go over and review that topic some more by doing some questions, then fine. Do a couple, you know, do 20, 25, 50 even um, based on that topic. But I would say most of your questions need to be randomized just so that you can get a feel. It's almost like doing an assessment. You know, it's almost like doing like a practice test every single day set yourself up for 75 questions and just run through them all, you know, and let them all be randomized and just let it be a practice test every single day. See how many you get right. And then I also use Mark Clement strategy videos, which I would also recommend. I wouldn't, I mean, I can't recommend all of them because I only watched a couple. The labs one gives you some strategies to remember your lab values, which I always have a hard time remembering those lab values. So it was helpful for me to watch that right before I went in. And they also gave me some strategies on like just how to answer questions in general, which I loved. Oh, and that's free. I got that sent from a friend. I'm sure you can probably find it online. Ask around, see if anybody has them. I think it's something that people pay for. But I also know that like people have recorded him talking and have sent it around. So at this point, I would try and get it for free because start th things start to add up at the end of your nursing school career. It, it really does. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to go a little more in depth on my NCLEX study plan, what I actually did. I didn't mention Mark Lamech at all in my other video and I don't know why. 
I feel like all three of those things really helped me to pass NCLEX, especially, especially you world. Those questions are bomb and the way it's set up is bomb. So I would definitely recommend. So if you don't get anything else, get you a 30 day subscription to you world. I think the subscription that I bought the 30 day one was only like $120. So it'll help you get your license for sure. So go ahead and spend that money, spend that cash. Hopefully this was helpful, you guys. I know you guys loved my last video, so I just wanted to do a part two going a little bit more in depth. I really hope you guys enjoyed and you're gonna do great on NCLEX. Don't stress yourself out. You already know all the information. You just have to apply it. So go out there and do your best and you're gonna be awesome. I wanna see lots of success stories in the comments down below. Thank you guys for always supporting me and my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.